nothing comes close to what a theremin can do in the air without touching. And that's because I'm going to explain why. The theremin is a transmitting device. You have a volume loop here, which is an antenna. This is the volume side of your instrument. This is the pitch side, a pitch antenna, the pitch side. You know, the two coils, pitch and volume. Pitch is the sound. Volume, of course, is amplitude of the sound, high and low. Okay. It's exactly the same in newer technologies to create this theremin or any others that you see out there. Now, what we have is something that we are offering the theremin to make its music, and that is our own electricity. We have the ability to have capacitance, that is storing electric energy. And this instrument and this instrument work exactly the same way. They use capacitance in their circuitry to release the electrons to make loud and soft music, high and low pitch. It's all affected by our presence around these antennas. And I'm going to show you a visualization of how this all works. Let me tune it in a little bit. Ah. Right here, we have a plasma plate. We have electrical energy of high intensity emitted from this plate. You probably have seen plasma globes, maybe yay big, and you put your hand on it, and the electricity goes to you. The same theory. You have electricity in your body, and it is excited by the electricity in your body. The antennas and the field around here are excited by my presence. So if I go in, into it, in, well, let me go, you, it's, this is closer. If I go into Woody's field, this is what's going on. on. You can see visually exactly what's going on here. Okay? Okay? Put that in your head. That image going on here. That's how the theremin works. And how Lev figured this out, I don't know. A genius.